Hello my beautiful Capricorns, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm gonna do a coffee cup reading what's coming your way within this next four weeks. Also I'm going to leave a link up here if you would like a private reading from me you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. By the way only 30% of you have been subscribed. If you're enjoying these videos don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free you can unsubscribe anytime you want but it helps the channel a lot and it also helps this message get to the ones who really need to hear it as well okay. Let's jump in and let's see what's coming your way. All right, it is going to be a flood of energy coming through. The energy can be, it's a very light cup, by the way, uh, can be like in financials or uh, spiritual, can also be like mental, even maybe friends showing up. There's an outside opportunity and I see like a Scorpio here. This can be coming through a Scorpion, a person who is sign of Scorpio, which is I think November is the month for that. Um, someone very passionate also who are as scorpios are usually good with money and attracting money so they might be coming through with an offer and i see here a candle is lit so this can be your wish fulfillment and at the same time it is their wish as well it's not only your wish uh, the candle can be a prayer that you already have you put it out there and this is going to come to uh, life and it's going to be happening within uh, the first week it seems like here towards the end of the week the message might come through as um an inspired action inspiration um so when, when you follow the inspiration you're probably going to get the message from this person this message can be coming through a social platform because it's outside here it's not inside your uh, vicinity inside the, the your regular living environment this can be something that you don't usually use i see there's also another path opening here there's a male figure here with a big head okay kind of like um it has um like you're gonna hear from this person um within the first week and then the fourth week the message is gonna come his attitude kind of remind me of like his face i don't, there was this actor called nick nolt i think n o l t e i feel like this kind of like um he used to play like villains i think that was it i'm not sure what i'm talking about it's just the name just popped into the screen of my head uh in my mind so this can be someone looking like a villain however that might have like some information some good connections something that you can benefit from okay do not be judgmental towards the people the message is coming through because there might be something that you need to hear <clears throat> into the del inside the delivery i also see here somebody is lifting up this baby or maybe a person and they are enjoy like you know when they're having a celebration they lift up a person and just you know just you know celebrate it that way you're gonna get that kind of like a massive um support in a situation another thing is this actually forms like a rose rose indicate love so uh the celebration is going to be about something you would love to manifest into your life and it is also looking like in the within the first week the second week is going to be very light there's not many actions maybe there's going to be a relaxation i even see someone here under the surface running towards you this can be someone that you haven't seen for a long time i see the evil eye in the middle of your heart this might be uh, coming up with the third and the fourth week this can be someone a negative energy actually coming through the uh, coming from through it's from someone when i say the evil eye i mentioned like in other videos a lot of times evil eye uh, has um is not something like evil or like voodoo or anything like that evil eye is negative energy okay if somebody is thinking negatively about you or maybe sending you a lot of admiration jealousy this might drain your energy this might create an an empty you know a hole in your aura it's kind of a thing like if you are actually believing in that this is um if you don't believe in i don't know if it affects you because belief is the key to creation so uh, in order to get rid of that is actually the prayer and also like taking a salt bath and clean, cleansing your energy field is the key. I see that you're going to be stepping into a massive crowd. In this crowd, maybe you're going to be very attractive and you're going to take get a lot of attention from people. But eventually in this crowd, you're going to find someone on a higher level than you are. They're standing on an uphill and you are standing here and wearing like this captain's hat. This kind of like the the... Mm, old school like a uh, military captain type like a uh, the sail captain what is that navy uh the british navy captains they used to wear this kind of thing so 
this can be like you are actually the captain of your boat maybe you own a company you have your space you have this thing that you need but there's a touch needed there's a higher power this higher power can be in the literal sense or can also be um like someone holding a sword can be a legal accomplishment that you're desiring i see a letter a this person is holding a sword can be a libra or maybe also someone who is in a legal business or maybe who's gonna be giving you legal advice and then they're gonna get you through this person i see you are actually walking on a cliff this kind of reminds me of the scene the fool card which is actually a new beginning uh being a dreamer and stepping into the taking a leap of faith and stepping into a new future so with the advice that you're going to be getting you're going to connect with this person that we say in the beginning again and then you're going to take a leap of faith to step into the new future that you're creating for yourself let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire and intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be i see there is actually um a cliff it's not a cliff actually it's like a hill uphill that you climb up with two people and whatever that you're desiring i see again here a rose kind of like a, a rose didn't bloom yet so this is something that you would love to do another thing i see here is a horse head also it has like a chicken on top of its head no actually this is like a pelican with a big mouth <clears throat> okay pelican is the bird with a big mouth that's what i'm that's what i'm talking about so sorry about that and um this can be um person trying to grab more than they can handle okay um so that's what pelicans tend to do if you can watch them like they tend to you know try to bite the animals that they cannot even you know they're like double their sizes and um so uh now this turned into like a, i see a person who is actually very surprised to that kind of a situation so this is actually the overall message is like taking things one thing at a time. If this is your situation, it is good to take things one thing at a time. If you're dealing with someone like that, with this pelican attitude, instead of trying to, you know, trying to force them, I see here a sword fish. The sword is actually taking, oh, like, it's not straight. So maybe you're trying to hide your power and strength because this person is actually acting like they can do, but they don't have the skill set. Like, you're going to be fixing that up, okay? You're going to actually, here standing, your nose is a little bit up in the air. Maybe there's a little bit of showing off required and needed here. And I see here a lion actually roaring. So this will bring you back the power, the strength that you're desiring, okay? So maybe if you need to take the step and show the things that, the capabilities that you have, um, that it is, it is going, you're going to get the chance to do that, okay? And this will actually get you back into the position of power. Let's see what we have here in your cards. Let's see what the cards are saying. We have the seven of cups, which indicates a confusion. You might be actually, that's why uh, the things are happening and you see a person acting in a way that they don't have the capability to do the things. And that might be causing a confusion within you because you know that they're not capable of doing that and um they don't have the, what, it, what it takes to do that but you're gonna actually there's a hanged man showing up here you might act, step back and take a pause and assess the situation and have a new perspective and maybe strategize how you're going to overcome this situation we have a knight of airs coming through which is a very intellectual and who's holding the sword we saw a man holding the sword he's going to show you the path which way to go and he's probably going to help you out with to, what to do or this can be your energy as well okay maybe you are actually going to get cl clear about how to handle the situation after taking a pause taking a step back and passionate also resilience so you're going to be your resilience is actually going to get you through that situation with a ten of cups falling out here this indicates no matter which way it goes uh you're gonna actually manifest massive uh, happiness family love all these things that you're desiring maybe this is like a competitive like a um work environment you're gonna be the victorious one you're gonna be the one who is actually getting the recognition getting the embrace like they're gonna be embracing you rather than the competition i also have six of uh, six of swords here is actually relaxation going from the choppy waters to the calmer shores and progress okay a new hope and you can see there's a city and the sun is on the here and uh, you're going to be sailing tr through a new experience okay even though it doesn't seem like the things are not moving there's some confusion maybe people no don't know what they're doing you're going to get clarity uh 
after you get the clarity, after contemplating and making the plans, you're going to move through whatever is going to make you happy and to a maybe an even better situation. Um, this can be about a person as well. It doesn't have to be specifically about career and money and work. This can be also a relationship that is confusing you. You're going to actually move through a better future, okay? You're going to find that way out of there. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.